MGM Grand Las Vegas. This is one of the most iconic hotels in Las Vegas. It's one of the largest hotels in Las Vegas. And for that reason, it's one of the most popular hotels in Las Vegas. But what I want to know, is it still one of the best in Las Vegas? Let's find that out. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, MGM Grand. All right, so let me get this out of the way very, very quickly. This is the West Wing King. This is the cheapest room available at the MGM Grand. It's their entry level room. I just did a dedicated room tour where I went over everything. So if you want all those details, check the link in the description below. There's some things I like and some things I don't. All right, so I'm really excited to be back on this property. Let me quarterback this trip for you. Tonight, we're gonna ease into things. I have dinner planned tonight at the buzzing restaurant of this property. Everybody's talking about it. It is a joint venture between Aisha Curry and Michael Mina. It's called International Smoke. Apparently it has great barbecue and awesome cocktails. I'm off there right now. Tomorrow is shaping up to be a big day. I wanna spend the afternoon at the MGM pool and then tomorrow night I have dinner planned at Hakkasan. On my last night here, I want to do something really unique. I can't fully commit to it right now because it's not 100%, but either way, I want to do something really special and really big on my last night here. Other than that, we're going to try to find some great drinks, do a little gambling, and who knows what else. This is the MGM Grand Las Vegas, and I'm really excited to be back. All right, I just finished up at International Smokehouse. It was the best short rib I've ever had in my entire life. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow because I'm off to Whiskey Down for some amazing cocktails. Wow, what an unbelievable introductory night last night at MGM Grand. International Smokehouse was phenomenal. Typically, I'm not a fan of these joint ventures. Typically, when two titans from their respective spaces collaborate, almost always it's a letdown. This thing was anything but. I absolutely had the best short rib that I've ever had in my entire life. 24 hour, 48 hour, 72 hour, French, Italian, barbecue. This beat them all decidedly. Almost as great as the food were the cocktails. You may expect me to say that the smoke signal was my favorite, and although it was really cool, my favorite was a Mai Tai that came out in a spam container. After dinner, I strolled over to Whiskey Down. It is the really cool and upscale whiskey bar right off the casino floor. The drinks got even better. You may expect me to say that my favorite drink was the Smoke Boulevardier, but it was actually the Hawaiian gentleman that came up in martini glass with a smoke bubble on it. And today should be even better. The weather is perfect. Let's get it started at the pool. All right, I'm not playing around tonight. I'm so excited for my dinner at Hakkasan. Before I get down there very quickly, I wanna talk about uh, my day at the MGM Grand Pool. You know, I had not been down to the MGM Grand Pool in many years, so in a way, I was seeing it again for the first time. What it reminded me of was a pool park, not a water park, but a pool park. There were a couple individual pools, there was a lazy river, and the entire grounds were connected by meandering walkways and bridges. 
The crowd was decent. It was a little bit of everything. Young, old, couples, singles, large groups, small groups, families. The music was decent. Uh, people were out there playing games. It was a very predictable yet enjoyable experience. After the pool, I strolled back to my room and I passed a New York pizza place. I promised myself no eating lunch during the day. That way I could really indulge and enjoy my dinners. I caved. I failed. I ordered two New York slices of pizza and they were fantastic. I came up here. I took a nap. Now I'm ready to go to Hakkasan. I am so hungry, which is never a good thing going into this restaurant. So I'm gonna start this morning off with a question. Is there a cooler and classier restaurant than Hakkasan? Now think about it, I said cool and classy. You could have classy and elegant, and you can have cool and modern, but those two concepts typically don't mesh very well. I'm gonna say this right now, that Hakkasan and Expot are the coolest and classiest restaurants in all of Las Vegas. You know, it's hard to think that Tao can be improved upon, but Hakkasan takes the Tao experience to the next level on every level from the atmosphere, to the energy, to the service, to the menu, to the food, and just to the overall experience, Hakkasan is absolutely Tao on steroids. Overall, the experience was lavish, it was awesome, and I'm gonna make a dedicated video on it because there's so much more than what you saw. So it's my last day at MGM Grand, and before I get to what I wanna do tonight to kind of punctuate my trip, um, I wanna press my luck this morning. So let's get down to the high stakes slot room. So I violated one of the cardinal rules of slots, at least one of my cardinal rules, and I paid the price. Before I get to that, MGM's uh, High Limit slot room is interesting. It's very disjointed. There are like three or four mini rooms within large room. The Feng Shui and flow is terrible. And also the machines are jam-packed in there, but the good news is there are a ton of high limit slot machines in this one room. I found a machine that not only was speaking to me, but it was calling to me, it was screaming to me. I found a triple double diamond slot machine. And you know I love my diamond slots, I love my double diamond, my triple diamond, my pink diamond. If I ever see diamond in a slot machine, I am playing it. This was a triple double diamond and I had to play it. Now here is where I violated my major rule. I walk up to the machine and I see that it recently paid out $300. I typically have a stern rule never to play a slot machine that just paid out. But then I started thinking about it and I thought, well, this is a high limit machine. Maybe somebody put in a thousand, didn't have good luck and they cashed out their 300. And then I thought, you know, 300 isn't much of a win on a high limit slot machine. Basically, I was looking for any reason to rationalize and justify myself playing the slot machine. I should have never played it in the first place. I put in my $100 and 90 seconds later, that money was gone. I am so glad that I waited three and a half hours to get into Joel Rubichon last night. It was so worth it. So there are actually two Joel Rubichon venues downstairs and they're right next to each other. The main one, Joel Rubichon, is the one that everyone talks about. That's the one that many people consider to be the best restaurant in Las Vegas. That's the one with all the acclaim and all the accolades. Then you have L'Atelier next door and that's where I ate. And L'Atelier is actually the kitchen for Joel Rubichon. What makes the concept so cool is that the kitchen is the restaurant and there's front row seating around it. 
so you can watch the best chefs in the world make the best dishes in the world right in front of you. I actually prefer L'Atelier for that reason, and also because it's a bit more approachable and a bit more relaxed than the ultra high-end and somewhat stuffy Joel Rubichon. Now don't get me wrong, L'Atelier is still very classy, it's still very elegant, and the dinner in itself was unbelievable. If you want the L'Atelier experience, you can order the tasting menus or the full course menus if you like, but what I decided to do was pick my way around the menu a la carte. Suffice it to say, the dinner was both spectacular and sensational, and I'm definitely gonna make a standalone video on the overall experience. All right, MGM Grand Las Vegas, I'm gonna sum it up like this. I think it is the best all-around hotel in Las Vegas. Now, I'm not calling it the best overall, and I'm not calling it the most luxurious, but I am calling it the best all around. And I think in order to have that title, you have to do everything either really good to great everywhere, and I think MGM Grand does that. What makes it have that title, first of all, is that it is approachable. It is a mid-tier hotel. It's not priced out of a lot of people's budgets, like the Bellagio, Palazzo, and Encore can be. So because I think the price is generally affordable, that's gonna get you in the door. And then once you get in the door, I think you're gonna find good to great almost everywhere. The pool is really good to great. It might not be the biggest in Las Vegas, and it might not be the best, but it's still a really fun time. The restaurants are really great. Are they on par with the Bellagio or Wynn Encore? No, not really, but you're gonna get two of the best ones in Las Vegas with Joel Rubichon and Hakkasan. And then you also have some high-end stuff as well, like Craft Steak and Morimoto. To take it down a step further, you also have Crush and Wolfgang Puck at mid-tier. And then you have a casual food court if you just want something quick and cheap. No matter what your dining preferences are, you're gonna find something delicious at MGM Grand. Entertainment-wise, MGM Grand is at the top of their game. You have something for everyone. You have Top Golf, uh, you have Hunger Games, you have David Copperfield, you have Cirque du Soleil, you have the Television City experience for families and for kids. No matter who you are or what you're looking for, you're gonna find something to entertain yourself here at MGM Grand. The casino floor is large and expansive with tons of games with different styles and varieties for everyone. And the location is pretty decent too, next to other MGM properties and also walkable distance to city center. MGM Grand may not be a leader in any one of the previous categories, but it does all the previous categories really, really well. For that reason, I'm gonna give it a three, which is actually a really great score for me. MGM Grand is absolutely a Las Vegas icon and I can see why it is one of the most popular hotels in the world. If you can get past the sprawling campus and the somewhat overpopulated feel at times, the MGM Grand is a great destination. If you're looking for a hotel that is a no-brainer and a hotel that's gonna deliver pretty much in every single category, you absolutely need to check out MGM Grand Las Vegas.